this is a mission. This is in DCS, and it's a mission for the P-47 Thunderbolt. And we are uh, doing part of the Battle of Cherbourg. So this is up on the, the peninsula of France. What's going on here on June 18th, but the Allies finally have gotten footholds down here, and they're going to go up, and we need this, this bay for our supplies coming in, both from England as well as all the way over from America. It's called a deep water port. So we need this. All the troops are moving up here to surround it. The Allies start sending in a lot of Air Force aircraft, bombers and stuff, softening this up for the troops to go in and get it. So that's what this mission is. P-47, we're going to fly up here, and there's this road right here on the map. I know this is tiny, but uh, it's up here. And there's a whole bunch of, there's a big German convoy coming out of Cherbourg, heading south, trying to, trying to escape. And we're not going to let them do it. If you're new to my channel, or probably more accurately, if you're here because of my DCS videos, you probably don't know this little personal history bit. But my grandfather was in the 9th Infantry, 60th Infantry Regiment. And I did an IL-2, I did uh, one of the Battle of the Bulge orientated Thunderbolt missions, ironically. So there was a mission there where you, you got to provide air support for the 60th directly. So that was cool. And in here, while the infantry isn't on the ground, the 9th Infantry helped take Cherbourg. The 60th came in from one of the sides. The 39th and the 47th regiments were also involved. But yes, June 18th, 1944, we're in the 371st Fighter Group. We got the German forces you know, cut off with all the troops that are all over the, the peninsula here. We are to conduct armed reconnaissance. I see this a lot in mid-1944 through the end of the war, is that the P-47s, P-38s were sent up with bombs and rockets and lots of 50 cal, and it was doing armed reconnaissance. Basically, it was later in Vietnam, they would call it uh, the search and destroy missions, seek and destroy. Go out, cover this area, destroy any German equipment, men and material that you see. So that's what we're doing. We're going to fly up here, check out the situation. If there's stuff around, uh, take it out. Here's our priorities. Priority, destroying anti-aircraft. Destroy all enemy vehicles you locate. Uh, admin and log and command signal per SOP. We are taken out, out of Buseville. And we also have three other flights. We're all going to take off and we're going to form up over this little city here, Magnaville. And then we're going to head this way. Here's a neat little thing I learned fairly recently. You can move this compass and you can put it over what you want. And then that kind of helps you figure out your bearings a little bit easier. So as you can see up here, these are German anti-aircraft positions. And here's that convoy. A lot of vehicles streaming out of Cherbourg here. All right. Almost tried to take off without any uh, stuff going. All right, here we go. I don't know how they cut off the ground so quick. I'm off the runway. Gear coming up. Oh, I didn't have any flaps. That's part of it. I'm going to bring back my RPMs just a little bit. There's one of the other flight groups over there. I'll turn off the labels once we all kind of get headed that way. See all that smoke on the horizon? 
That is Cherbourg. So that also makes it a little bit easier to navigate here. We'll just kind of line up on that smoke. We're going to climb a little bit. I need to reset my trims. Close our cow flaps. I need to get my guns going. Okay. And level everything out again. I need to arm. And then set the bomb so they will drop and get back on course. All right. Oh, and I need my gun sight rheostat turned up. All right, there we go. Got a gun sight, got my guns on. Bombs are armed. These bombs, uh, since we start on the runway with them running, there are all kinds of timers, but these bombs, the timers that are in them are just contact. So you don't want to drop them low because you will shred yourself. Where's all my guys? They're way back behind me. Okay, there's my direct wingman. All right, I see down there by that fire. There's an anti-aircraft marker there. There's one over there. That might be our vehicles. Springfield one, Tally triple I'm gonna tell them. Oh, I saw those tracers right at the last second. Getting a little shocked here tonight. And then there's our convoy. See them all along that road. turn off the carrot so it looks a little better on my runs. Alright. I'm going to come around. I'm going to hit them from north to south. Turn over the, the bay here. The ports. I'm gonna drop the bombs first. And we're going to circle around. We're going to hit them again. <laughs> There's a wingman that was avoiding some uh, 
AA. I bumped a switch. I want to make sure I had, didn't have gear down or something. There they are. There's another P-47 flying over them right there. notice I'm staying much lower and maneuvering a little better compared to some of the stuff I did in uh, IL-2 on ground attack. Get out of way and then climb back up to altitude. Now we got some smoke on one of them. Porsche is the uh, staff car, so that's good. Got some leadership there. slow in that uh, climb. tank of fuel. There's a couple by the smoke. You can see them shooting there. Saw so a bomb go off there. Whoa! Still have some anti aircraft.
Another explosion there. Ooh, another one. That was low. Kuba wagon. I wish this had an ammo counter. It checked. What happened to two? Did he get hit? I got in a little close looking at two, and now my, now my run's off. Oh. That was cool. The 47 has a lot of ammo with the eight guns. It's like 35 or 3,700 rounds on board. We'll probably do one more pass. See where we're at on ammo. Well, we can't see where we're at on ammo, but we'll see on this pass if I have ammo. Kill triple A. Uzi one, kill triple A at Bulls two nine four for twenty nine. I think we did a pretty good job on this convoy, so yeah, I think after this round, we'll uh, form up and head back to base. Down to, well, we still got a little bit of fuel, one, fair amount. Get these two guys over here by themselves. Do another run. Springfield one, in from the south, engaging the utility at Bulls two nine eight for twenty nine. Colts one, in from the south, engaging the utility at Bulls two nine eight. Boom. 
There's a P-47 coming across in front of me. to form up. That it's that might be it there, probably, because yeah, there's uh, Asville right off our wing. So yeah, there's our home base. Oh, I guess I could have leaned out there a little bit. On that return trip, I could have leaned out to save some gas, but we didn't burn a whole lot. It takes a while for the gear to drop on the uh, P-47, so you do want to make sure you get her going down pretty early. Then you gotta watch your speed, because it doesn't really like to get under 150. She gets real weebly-wobbly. And with that nose, it's hard to see. I kind of keep an eye on the hangers. Occasionally kick the rudder to kind of see what's in front of me. Drop the flaps. There's the runway. Get my angle over just a bit. Oop, I think I'm coming down in between the taxiway and the runway. Ooh, I hit pretty hard there. There's trees. Hopefully, there's not more trees. I might, have, I might have tweaked that gear a little bit. Doesn't look like I blew a tire, so that's good. All right, so we got 34 of the 35. I got 10 of them. Nice. 10 out of 35, and we got nearly every single one of them. There's one truck out there that didn't uh, quite get blown up. All right, so anyways, that was a uh, attacking a, a big convoy that was escaping Cherbourg in mid-June of 1944, and as I had mentioned, uh, the 9th Infantry, 60th Infantry Regiment was there, and that was my grandfather's unit, so my grandfather was down there, so I got to, uh, got to virtually help him out again. All right, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.